somebody got three, but have a look, whoever hasn't seen it, have a look at it. So that's the picture that, that kind of got us to, to have a look at this area. So that's the town wall. So it's come now from Sarah Gibney's Avenue, right across. It's going around the mill mount. And this was the amazing part that Sean and I, like we're inter interested in history and happened. I'm not saying everybody else is, but we're particularly interested in this area. And when we saw this picture, we went, oh my God, that's amazing. Because those stone supports, do you see the stone supports sticking out at the top? But those stone supports, now we know what it supported. And there's a little pepper pot tower, just a little pepper, just adds to the characterful nature of the walls at the top of those stone supports. You see below it, there's a water, uh, what's called that, watermark stone. Yeah. See it there? That's how I recognise when I went over that day, I went over, again, yeah. however close you'd be possible. That's, on the, that's in the picture. Yeah. See it there? So there's a watermark stone in the picture, if you see it. Um, and then when it came down, obviously it was much bigger. There was a much bigger chunk of it. There was an apex of a roof. I don't know if you can see it. I'm, I'm, I'm showing it very badly. But you can see it in the wall. You see that diagonal line going yes. down there? It's a small diagonal line. Yes. But you can see it going there. That's an apex of a roof of some sort. There must have been some building on, on this side of that wall. The putt logs again, they're all, they're all exactly as they are here. There's two on their own down below, the four or five that are along the top. So there are the five along the top. There's two holes in the wall, but you can see where the people are standing in the picture. 